Hello everybody. Within this video, I'm going to be talking about basically uh, nested for loops and how we can use nested for loops in order to access list of lists. Okay. So from last video, we remember that we were talking about basically for any data structure, and this is including list of lists, we got to be able to modify access, assign, and declared. But last video, we only talked about uh, being able to modify and access only val like one value at a time. What if we needed to uh, do a process that which was much faster? So this is what I'm going to be showing you within this video. And the list is still the same. We have numbers and we have a total of three rows with a total of three columns. Okay, Columns run up and down and the rows, of course, from left to right. Cool. With that said, let's get started. So for row in, let's say, the length of numbers, and I wanted to print this out to see what it looks like. And let's just print out row. And it's going to print out everything. So it's going to print out every single row. See? But this doesn't allow us to access these elements. It's just printing out all of the rows. So we need something that's a little bit more specific. And as you see, uh, with these brackets here, it's showing that it's printing out that specific row. Then it prints out this row. And I can make it a little bit more identifiable. I could put row, concatenate this, and to put, let's put row and put it as a string, type cast it into a string so you can see. And let's have this now. Oops, there you go. I solved my error. And row zero, it's giving us this. Row one, it's giving us four, five, and six. And row two, it's giving us four, I mean, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so it's just accessing all of those, uh, each list found in our list of lists called numbers. So this is not exactly what we want. We want to be able to go for column and range, and then we do the length of numbers. And then from there on, we want to print every single thing of in there. So we put numbers, row, column, and then we can print out all of this stuff in a new line. And after every row we print, uh, after every row has finished, we can go ahead and print a new line. So it formats it this way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And as you see, we don't, we no longer have the brackets in here at the ends. Okay, and that's because we're, we're actually printing out every single element found in there. So when we learned this syntax here, now we're able to actually modify these. So for example, I can do something before this. On line 10, numbers and row and column, I want to be able to access these and I want to update them. So I'm going to double their value, let's say. So let's go ahead and run this program. And you see now I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and 18. I successfully doubled the values of everything that I found within this list of lists called numbers. And this is a much faster process than having to, you know, to go through every single thing. Or what if I wanted to throw in a conditional in there and let's say I wanted to search for a value if, I'm actually, let me put it right after. If numbers at row and column equals equals to, let's say, let's go with 10, print out, uh, print out the row, let's just print out the, let's just print out the number, I guess, print out or found, just this, there you go, run it. And you see it printed out found because it found the value that we were looking for, which was 10 itself. Thank you all so much for watching.